He's out of back Jim. Oh, thank you, Bill. All right, Jim. Anything else? They ain't cold, has he? No, not yet, Jim. I was kind of expecting him. I'll let you know when he comes in. Thank you. Better go in and see Jim. He's been asking for you several times. Well, that's why I'm here. Hello, Jim. Neil. Well, and everything went blank. Well, I didn't, don't you, Neil? Why, of course you didn't, Jim. Here. My horse is up the end of the street, Ethel's Holy. The best horse in the country. Now, you take that horse, and you get out of here, and I'll meet you in Alabitus in three days. Thank you, Neil. Jim's in a bad way, Bill. I wish there was something I could do for him. Who was the fellow testifying him at this trial? I don't know. He said he was a car hand from the barracks. You ever seen him before? I never saw him before. Take good care of him. I'll do that, Neil. Jim Glee busted out. Just saw him make his gun away on a horse. Jim shouldn't have done that. Get the sheriff, all right? I'm going to form a posse, and I'm going to ride in that posse. Yeah? If you're going to ride in that posse, they'll never get him. You all before the tenor, listen to 
Ja. Man nimmt mir Danken in unserem Weg zu all meinen, to investigate the difficulty between the Hamota and the Pinot Ranch across the border. Waylay him and exchange his belongings with the things you are about to receive. boys. We're going in to meet Mr. Denham. What's the matter? Found that peck to a tree down at the south pasture. What does it mean? That pinion bunch hamstrung eight of your horses. Could they be so inhuman? What well, that mean? Yeah. My little bay mare was down there too. And I had to kill her. Oh. I, I ain't said nothing to the boys. I don't want to start no trouble, but Pat and me are figuring on asking for our time and heading for the pinion. Oh no, no. Don't desert me until Mr. Denham arrives. Please. Come on. Let's go. the death of Bert Dorgan. I found his body up the trail here about five miles. I just buried him. Say Bert Dorgan? Yep. Well, there's Neil Denham's horse. He must have arrived. Hello. Mr. Denham. I recognize you by your horse. He was a stable mate of mine at the Bar P. Oh, yes, ma'am. I must see a Brandon. Blood Brandon, sister. Excuse me for mentioning him, but of course you knew him. Oh, yes, ma'am. I... I knew Bud quite well. We're to meet Tom Hope at our conference today. He knows I wired the association. Well, we'll talk that over as we go along, ma'am. Hello, Tom. What? Mr. 
Denham, Mr. Hope. Come to solve all our problems, eh? <laughs> Martha's idea to bring you over. So you're Neil Denham. I recognize his horse. How interesting. Thank you. at all this. Didn't I tell you to wait for my orders? We didn't start trouble, Miss Marsha. Them opinion fellas called us out. Your man called my men out. Why? Why? One of my hands, they found your foreman Judson poisoning the pinion water hole. They fought it out. We were finished. Both dead? Yes. Yeah. You can start your investigation now, Mr. Denham. If you are Neil Denham, why, uh, I don't reckon I know what you mean, uh, Mr. Mr. Hope. You're not the Neil Denham I met. Oh, so you have met Neil Denham, huh? When? Six months ago, up north. I haven't met him recently, huh? No. Yeah. Well, that's all right. I heard there was a fella running around the country sort of impersonating me. Well, we're wasting time. If you want to come along, we're going down and look the water hole over. Let's be riding. Take a look at this gun. Might look the... guns that just tossed you were 44s, weren't they? Neither one of them had ever been fired. These are 41s. I don't know whether that means anything to you or not. These two bodies we just found here, those men weren't killed here. They were killed somewhere else and dragged here. I believe that this gang is headed by a fellow called a general. He's just trying to get you two ranchers to fight him so he can get a chance to run some stuff across the border. Let's follow. Will you do me the honor of making your headquarters at my ranch while you're here? I'd like to, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I like the way you handled that situation at the water hole today. Say, Go a little easy on that boot, will you? I got a bad ankle. Sleeping yeah. guns on, eh? Never go to bed without them. Afraid of catching cold. Yeah. You know, I used to be pretty slick with a pair of six guns myself. You don't say. Yeah, rheumatism got fingers all stiffed up. 
Look at that tonight. That thing don't count at all. Say, that's in right bad shape. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Anything else I can do for you? There is one thing you can do for me if you want it. You get up right early in the morning. I wish you'd ride over to town. And just find out if anyone else has rode in town since, uh, since I did. Yeah, I'd like to go to town. I want to get some more rheumatism medicine. Say, by the way, I forgot to ask you your name. Saunders, the name. Squint Saunders. Oh, Squint Sanders. Yeah. You know, I believe I'll change that. Yeah? I just think I'll call you Dude. Dude? Old Dude Sanders. And your name is... Good night, Dude. Mm, yeah. You know... I know you ain't Neil Denham. <laughs> Miss Marshy, she see the horse. But I see Neil Denham. Pretty well acquainted with him. Yeah? I, I don't care who you are. I like you. And I want to work with you. Well, now, that's right, with you. But you know I like you right well, too. Sir. Huh. I'll tell you about this, Neil Denham. Neil Denham was my best friend. When I was riding into town a spell back, I, I come across his body, lying not 20 foot from the trail. Somebody'd stolen all his belongings off him, put some other poisons in place of him. Now, whoever did that just stole them for one reason, and that was so they could, so they could masquerade as Neil. Well, I, I just beat him to it, that's all. Now, if I ever, if you and me ever come across anyone, it's got them things on them, or any of Neil's papers. Well, you better limber up that old trigger finger, partner. That's all. You know, I've been working on it a long time. I'm gunning for a feller myself. I killed a boy, I, I used to trot on my knee. But, Marcy's brother, the man that killed him, was Jim Gray. And if I ever run across him, I'll lay him stiffer than that finger. Come in. Border patrol fella by the name of Bell. Oh, you're apt to stumble over those border patrol folks most anywhere. Border patrol covers a lot of territory. Mm. Oh, Neil, I, I guess I better call you that, eh? Yeah, it might be a good idea. When I brung your boots this morning. Oh, yeah, I noticed these boots. They're all polished up, thanks. Found this note stuck under the door. Say, what do you make out of this? I, 
I ain't open it nor, nor read it. <laughs> I know you haven't read it now. I wonder who wrote that. Say, get that piece of cardboard out of my coat pocket. The inside coat pocket. No handwriting expert, but them's written in the same handwriting. And they look alike. Hmm. What you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna do just what this note says. What answer? Hey, you got a pencil? Left-handed, eh? No, I ain't left-handed. Don't suppose I'm going to answer this mom handwriting, do you? I reckon that's the finish. The hamstring of the horses. That's about the last thing that happened, isn't it, Miss Marcia? Yes, I've kept a complete record. By the way, is this young Hope? Did he happen to be any relative of yours? Oh, no. This family and mine are great friends, and when they went to Europe, they expected me to go to town for advice and to, to sort of lean on him. You ain't the leaning kind, huh? Oh, no. Well, that's, um, I guess that's the works, Miss Marcia. Sure much obliged to you. I hope you get something out of this. Say, I was I'm about to run away with your left pencil. Oh, do you have to go? Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty busy today. Oh, can I give you some coffee? <laughs> no, I... I never take a drink till sundown. <laughs> Say, I reckon I'm leaving about in time. You've got company coming. No. No, you ain't. They're coming to see me. Better go to your room, Miss Marcia. What's the matter? You look like, like... Don't get between me and the door, Miss Marcia. What does this mean? Marcia, this is Mr. Bell of the Border Patrol. Well, now that's right interesting. This man is not Neil Denham. Neil Denham is dead. And I can prove that he killed him. How come you to know that Neil Denham is dead? Paper. Just a minute. A whole lot depends on what you pull out of your pocket. I guess you can recognize your own handwriting, can't you? Oh, sure. I 
I'm sure disappointed in you boys. That isn't his handwriting. Here's something he's just put. Valley. Well, I guess I'm wrong, Denham. Yes, and I, I guess I'm mistaken, too. Well, that makes it unanimous, doesn't it? I was going to leave town tomorrow, but I think I'll wire headquarters and tell them that I'm staying for a while. Maybe you're on the right track, Denham. And between the two of us, we might get someplace. Miss Brandon, I want to apologize for busting in on you the way I did. See you later. Say, Bill. Where did you... Where did you get that paper? Why, I ran across three fellas that were loafing around Hope's place. I picked them up and I found this on one of them. Where's the three fellas now? They're down in jail. Well, don't you think it'd be a good idea if we went down and had a talk with them? I think I'll do that. Goodbye. Oh, you always seem to know what to do. I don't know how I ever got along without you. It's so nice to have someone to lean on. Why, I thought you wasn't a lean and kind. Well, I shouldn't say it, but I want you near me. Dude! <laughs> well, where you been? Oh, I've been hovering around the outskirts. Did you hear what they were doing in this room a while ago? Mr. Bell pulled the wrong paper out of his pocket, didn't he? Yeah. Sort of disappointing, wasn't it? Did you hear what they said about them three prisoners down in the jail? I hear you. I'm going down to have a talk with them fellas. Good. And I won't need anybody with me. I figured you would. Where do you think you're going? Well, I come over here to talk to them three fellas that Tom Wolf caught over on the pin yard. Turned them over to Bell here to be locked up. Well, who's authority? Well, I'm new. Get into the Cattlemen's Association, that's authority enough, isn't it? My orders that no one's to see those prisoners. Yeah? Now, who gave you them orders? Mr. Bell himself. Oh, that's all right. Bell and me's working together. Hold on there. I don't know about that. I think you better move on. I see. see. That's a funny thing. Bell giving orders you couldn't talk to them prisoners. Did he do that? Sure he did. Excuse me, did you folks want to see me? Yes. Did you ever talk with those prisoners? No. You didn't, by any chance, get the jailer drunk and release them, did you? Are you kidding me, or is this on the square? This is on the square. Now stick them up. You're under arrest. Why, officer? I'm surprised at you. I told you to stick them up. No. Oh, Miss Marsha, what are you going to do that for? Now look here, Bill. 
Don't be fumbling around this gun unless you intend to use it. I'll turn this gun loose. You go ahead and shoot. No, no! No, what are you doing, Sanders? Just idling up my finger. What's the idea? You see, Mr. Bell, I was afraid you wouldn't wait for me to alibi Mr. Denham. You know, I was down at the jail with him. That jailer wouldn't let him see the prisoners. I wonder if that jailer lied to me. Yes, and I guess he'll keep right on lying. Miss Branton, I'm going to take a few of your men. I have an idea that the general is going to run some of his men through the pinion. Come on, boy. Well, say, Mr. Hope, what I just told your friend Bell goes for you, too. Don't fidget around your gun unless you intend to use it. Don't you boys forget to be suspicious of each other! Oh, you're wounded. <clears throat> no, I sure wish I was, but that's a... That's just a mesquite scratch, miss. Dude! Yeah. Officer Bell seems to think he has another clue over on the pinion. I reckon I'll ride over to the Hamosa and have a look around. You gonna need me this time? No. I thought you would. All right, come on. Burris? Yeah. You know I got you into this. You want to quit? No, behave yourself. How's the rheumatism? It's good, man. The fingers all stiffed up. I wonder why they don't shoot. Oh, they don't see us. They see us all right. How do you see them? Shoot at the smoke. Blood. Doggone them, they got my rheumatiz medicine. Ninety percent's all shot. <laughs> Say, it was a funny thing that Bell said, you hear him? About me getting that jailer drunk? Yeah, it was funny. Wait a minute, my, my trigger finger's all right. Is it all right? Yeah. Turn me loose, will you? What do you want to do, hug it all? Wait, steady. See, I think we can catch this fellow. Come on, quiet. Down. 
Listen here. You go up and tell that general that Jim Gray, that's me. See, Jim Gray? Jim Gray wants to join out his gang. Savvy? See. Now listen, no mistakes about this. Because we intend to be hanging around in this part of the country quite a spell. Now, vamos. Hey, that was pretty smart for you to tell him you was Jim Gray. Well, it worked, didn't it? Yeah. Doggone them, they got my horse. Gosh, dude, that's too bad. You know it'll take him as long to get up there as it will for me to go back to yeah. bring back some help. Can you wait here, dude? Just in time. Sanders and I were attacked back there in the hill by the general's men. Now let the general's men wait. There's a lady down at my ranch who says she's Neil Denham's wife. Yes, and we'd like to have you meet her, Mr. Denham. Ah, look here. I left the old man back. Never mind about that. All right, come on. Get it over with. Now we'll see if Mrs. Denham knows Mr. Denham. And if she doesn't, you go back with me. I'm wrong. We'll investigate what you've been telling us. Jim, what's happened to Neil? Honey, they got Neil. I felt that. Oh, Jim! Shot him down in cold blood. They stole his identification papers. That's why I'm here using Neil's name. I got your wire. Now I know why you sent it. Oh, I didn't send that wire. It's a forgery. The general's behind all this. And I'm here to catch up with him. I'll stick by you, Jim. Just like Neil did. I know right where you will. God bless you. No. I'll take care of this, Pat. You go and see that the boys don't get excited again, will you? Yes, ma'am. Pat! Pat, go and do what I told you. Hey, what's the matter with him? Do you recognize this? Well, I ought to. It's got Neil Denham's name on it. Yes, and your wife's picture in the back of it. Now listen, Miss Marsh, I... Now listen, I can't explain that right now. I... Where'd you get this? In the corral where the horses were hamstrung. Oh, I see. That's what was the matter with him, huh? 
Well, I suppose the boys will think that I hamstrung them horses, and they'll be wanting to lynch me, won't they? I just can't explain things now. I can't even explain this. You don't have to tell me. I know I made a fool of myself. Now, don't say that, Miss Marsha. Don't say that, Chris. I came here expecting help. I've left Sanders up there at the head of the draw. He's in a tight spot. Sanders, the only real man I've met in this country. I can't get any help here. And I've got to go back to him. And I've got to go back alone. Stay where you are. Now look here, young fella. You've been interfering with me a heap lately, and I'm getting plumb tired of it. Ain't that too bad? What's the matter now, Tom? Stay away, Miss Marsha. Hard to stay away, all right. If she finds out you're Jim Gray. Now, just who told you that I'm Jim Gray? Bill found it out just a few minutes ago. So Bill's the man I want, huh? This is a new story. Get around there, you dear. You have to keep your hands off those guns. Don't make any difference who I am. Remember I told you? When I take charge of anything, I stay in charge. I am leaving. No! No, please! Marcia, we're making a big mistake. We never should have let him get away. Come in. Well, I've come to tell you about the man you think is my husband. Then, then he isn't your husband. No, he's Jim Gray. I knew it. But he won't get away this time. Stop. Right. You all right, dude? Yeah, I'm all right. 
So they didn't wait for me, did they? No, I couldn't take any chances. They started to close in on me and I had to keep the old finger working. I got a couple of them. Good. Did you hear him say anything about me wanting to join the band? Yeah. I hear him talking about it. I guess that's what they're saving me for. Really? You know what you have to do to join this band? No. You have to kill a man. A white man. I guess they want you to kill me. Well, they gotta give me a gun to do it with, haven't they? Yeah. Well, they ain't gonna give me no loaded gun. Well, if they do, I tell you what you do. You stick it right up my face. Close, you know, I don't see it very well. If it's empty, I'll start cussing you out. And if it's loaded, if it's loaded, I'll know who to turn it on. Before the general. Oh, there you are. You have asked to join our organization. Yeah. Why did you run away? I didn't run away, I... I went back to head off them fellas that were... that were following me. Why should I blame you? Who have interfered with our plan by calling yourself Neil Danton? Well, because I'm... I'm wanted to cross the line by the Border Patrol for a killer. I can't afford to double-cross you to save my own skin. I wrote you a letter asking to join Archer Gang. You know I'm worth a dozen of your men. I'll send to Mr. Thornton and ask him until he's... Well, ready. all I want is a chance, that's all. Would you kill a man, an American? Kill an American? Sure. This is your friend that was with you. Oh, you mean that old pest that's been following me around the country since I've been here? He ain't no friend of mine. Very well. Bring him in. Trail me around much longer. This is your finish, you rat. Yeah, yeah, double crosser. Come on, what do we use for a gun? You may use one of your own guns. Stick for your town. Wrong one. 
Right. You have passed the pain. Take them away until we hear from Mr. Dorgan. Yeah. You wait till I get my hands loose and I'll get you. <laughs> turn him loose, turn him loose, and let's see what he's got. <laughs> give me a gun, will you? I'll fight it out with him. Come on, give him a gun. Let him fight it out. Come on, give me that gun. No, senor, you give me the gun. Come on, give me the gun. Give me the gun. <laughs> together and ride to the head of the draw. Jim and Sanders are in danger. Hurry. All right. Have you finished the loading? Si, senor. The first black plane, she's almost finished now. Fonde le mosasso. Fonde le quiet. You are almost finished too, huh? Go! Wait in, senor. Come on, get it over with. How long are you going to keep me here? <laughs> Light his way, don't you? What's the matter with you? You afraid? You're going to keep me here. Gunshot all the time. What's the idea of you packing up? I thought it was time to leave, Mr. Dorgan. You thought it was time to leave, did you? Who is the boss here? You or myself? Just what I wanted to hear, Mr. Dorgan. Who killed Bart Brandon? 
Who killed Neil Denham? Go on. There's his horse. You two come along with me. Now just sign your name. Jordan. Alias Bell. He's going to get married. Eh, he can't get married till I get well. No? No. I'm going to be your best man, ain't I? No. I knowed you'd want me. <laughs> 